We all have one. We all use it every day. It's essential to our every, everyday lives. But do we know how it works? What do you think it is? The cell phone. It can send a text, send a call, receive a call, use internet, have touchscreen capabilities, and even take pictures. But do we know how the cell phone actually works? Everyone has one. What do we want to know how they work? Cell phones send out many packages of data constantly. They send out these packages in either an SMS, a short message signal, also known as a text message. They also send out calls and they also send out and receive internet. And I will show you how this is done. When a text is sent out, it is sent out in a digital package. This is sent to the centralized SMSC, which is pretty much a cell tower. Short language for, or long language for a cell tower. This cell tower then receives a message as tiny data, decodes it, and then sends it to whoever is receiving the text message. Although both use radio waves, although all three things use radio waves, voice calls, text messaging, and the internet, the internet is a little different. It is constantly sending out and receiving signals, these little data packages. These data packages are then processed by the phone and or the cell tower. The internet is a little different when it comes to text messaging because it's not just a tiny package. Once the cell tower receives this package that the phone is asking for internet, it then creates an HTTP or standard internet wavelength and creates it into a WML, wireless makeup language, which is a smaller compact version of the internet that the cell phone is asking for. This is then sent back to the cell phone via the cell tower. Cell phones also send out tiny packages in voicemails. They use radio waves just like the text message. Cell phones, many cell phones today also have touch screen capabilities. And this is how some of them work. Not all, but many, most cell phones today, like the iPhone, use this type of technology for their touch screens. Touch screens have electrical charges constantly running through them. When they are touched on their phone, the phone can sense a, diff a different charge in the electrical charge because of, the, because of our fingers. Our fingers have charges on them, which then the iPhone can receive this and interpret where the difference in the electrical charge is. Then knowing when, what your finger is asking what to do. Not only does the cell phone have touchscreen capabilities, can send a text, obviously call someone, and have internet capabilities, but many of them have cameras implemented as well. Many phones today have small digital cameras like this. Cameras, all, all pictures are used by sending out light and then light is received back. The cameras in most of our phones today are, or almost all the cameras in our phones today are digital. Digital cameras work by reading the light that comes back as ones and zeros, bytes or bits. The phone then interprets these lights, these bytes and bits into pixels, digital information, and then creates a picture by viewing these pixels. I have now gone over what a cell phone can do, how it sends a text, how it gets a voice call, how it gets the internet, how its touch screens are used, and how it can capture an image. Thank you for watching, or thank you for seeing the presentation on the cell phone.